Okay, Frosty here. I have quite a few viewers nowadays, so I might as well show off what games I play online to see if I can get more friends that way. Let's start with first-person shooters and something recent. Call of Duty World at War, which is about half a year old at the time I'm making this video, I think. And uh, the far, as, well, as far as multiplayer goes, I haven't had much luck with the Nazi zombie playing, but the main modes, I, uh, before the 1.2 patch, I actually got, um, all the way up to the max level. Once 1.2 hit around, I decided to take a level of prestige and go normally. Uh, my playing has been off and on, so I've only gotten about level 17. I don't even have martyrdom back yet. Someone actually, the only gripe I had, someone actually called the second chance perk noobish. I could not disagree more, because that just tells, someone calling something noobish just tells me you don't want to learn to counter it. However, Call of Duty World at War is not the only first person shooter I play online. My other favorite one, and this one's been going on for years, I actually played a long time ago and just got back into it, was... Unreal Tournament 2004. I don't know why Unreal Tournament 3 bombed so badly, but this one seems to be more popular than ever. I occasionally play Onslaught servers, not very frequently, mind you, but just enough to have an understanding of the game type. But my favorite one, the game type, is actually the Assault type, which is been around since the days of the first Unreal Tournament. I wind up playing on some odd servers that use custom maps, lots of custom maps, and really customized ones, but this map out here is actually a few years old, last I checked. Kind of an interesting one. Uh, well, I don't know if it's an interesting map, but it doesn't seem to be too poorly designed, to be honest with you. And if you haven't figured it out, from all the videos, my favorite weapon by far in all of Unreal Triggered. Tournament is probably the, uh, flat cannon. I like to sneak in occasional Triggered. shield gun kills whenever I feel I can do it. Honestly, pretty fun. You are attacking. And the way I play Assault tends to be that I rush into certain areas and rush to get the objective, just charge in kamikaze style. You know what's sad about Unreal Tournament 2004? That style actually works more than half the time. It'll only not work if you have some really good opponents. And I mean a full squad of really good opponents. Not A, a couple people good is not going to be enough to stop you. That's from my experience. But then again, maybe I've been playing on some bad servers for all I know. It could be that way. I also want to tend to be one of those players that you can't just get me to retreat. I'll just keep charging, keep charging. Even when my best weapon is gone, like here, with my, when the tank got taken out. I just keep fighting all the way. Even better, I get a tank kill. A kill of a tank, and then proceed to take out the driver. Fun stuff! So, with the first person shooters out of the way, let's move on to strategy games I'm willing to play online. One I used to play a lot with a specific set group, and that I've considered getting back into again, although I haven't had the chance, is Worms Armageddon. It's one of those strategy games that's actually pretty easy to get into, if you were to ask me. There's, uh, because of all the insane weapons, the, uh, the fact that it's turn-based instead of real-time, because turn-based and massive destruction is what makes Worms what it is. To be honest, I made about four or five, no, six different teams of Worms, just from, on my own machine. And, uh... I think it's pretty clear that I'm actually a pretty mediocre player, but I had worse ones in the group I was last at, and not just the noobs either. There was like two or three good players and a whole squad of 
people where I probably am at the higher tier of that group, but not really that special. I would have to say my weakest must-have thing. I understand bazookas, haven't perfected the grenades. Uh, shotgun is a pretty... I don't know. Ninja rope, mediocre, but by far my worst... Uh, well, my worst of the key proficiencies is probably the super sheep. I have a hard time piloting that thing for some reason. But... I'm just hoping that my, uh, the next group I run into is not all experts. Now this next thing I'm going to show actually represents a few games, but I'm using what is commonly viewed as the best of the series for various reasons. The Heroes of Might and Magic series. I don't have the first or second game, unfortunately. Not at this time, at least. Well, let me be more exact. The last time I had the Distance for Heroes 2, I was forced to give them back afterwards, so I don't have them at my own house anymore. Um, I do have games 3, 4, and 5 in the series, but and I'm willing to play them online. However, I will only play them over Hamachi or some sort of LAN situation. I don't, I need to find my uh, number for the UV.com to play Heroes 5 again online. Yeah, I had to uninstall and reinstall it. And I need to find my case. So, yeah. Now the fourth one, I don't know anyone who actually plays it online. Because the fourth one is viewed as the most terrible in the series. Just because it's too complicated. The, the second and third ones are so good because they don't get too they get don't get too complicated. And uh, the, I personally think, uh, yeah, even I have to say the fourth is the worst in the series, but it trumps a lot of other games. To be honest with you. So now that I've shown you bits and pieces of the game, how about I shut up and show you a whole battle? Fun stuff, right? And there's a number of other strategy games I could be kind of playing, a bunch of the Age of games in Warcraft 3, but that's case by case and you have to talk to me directly. Lastly, I've played some role-playing games online. Diablo 2 is one of the older ones I used to play. Probably could play it again, but I don't want to. This next one concerns me. I admit it might cause me to lose a few viewers, but I have to be honest with it. Recently, I've become a World of Warcraft addict. I can't even make this up. And I've for the first week or so of gameplay, I'm letting myself be the full-fledged addict simply because I want to get used to the game and things like that. When I say full-fledged addict, I mean 8-10 hours a day kind of addict. Or whatever time I can spare. Eventually, I want to get to the point where I can wean it down to 4 hours a day just so I have time for other games. But, anyway. If you want to know my info, I hang out on server Misha. And I have a main character and a secondary character for each side on that server. A human mage, a troll priest that you see here, a night elf druid and torn hunter. So, 
So, uh, and unfortunately you get some jerks from the other side who tend to tend to ruin access to towns for everyone on their on their of their opponents. Wow, I'm bad at this. So, and it won't seem special looking at my play footage, but I might wind up posting a recording of an instance run one of these times. So, it, don't worry, none of my other stuff's going to be affected. I'll do it, it in the same time. So, this has been a demonstration of what I actually play online nowadays, and if you are interested, uh, please do t do make sure to let me know. I could always use some opponent online, or whatever, or an ally even. This is Frosty, signing out.